kind of thing. It is really hard because they're all great for different reasons. But those would maybe be my top most recent three. I've got some new ones that are that are going to be coming out that I really am loving, but I can't tell you what they are yet. <laughs> so keep 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 an eye out. Keep an eye out. So yeah. Is that the only question? Real? What else? <laughs> <laughs> question more. How about you? Right here in the front. Do you guys mind if I would take a picture with you real quick? Can we do it afterwards? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Remember Kylie? Kylie Jenner. Yeah. Kylie Jenner. Yeah. Afterwards, just remember. But please don't have like 7,000 of you come up and get pictures. He asks, so he gets it. Uh, yeah, no one else does. <laughs> <laughs> he asks first. He calls dibs. I have to, I have to go to the panel. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, has there ever been a role that you like felt like you needed to turn down at all? Like, like the, there, there are definitely roles that I just won't audition for. Like if I don't, if I if it's something that I'm not into, especially if it's like a really hardcore screaming, like grating kind of voice, I just won't audition for it. Um, but yeah, yeah. Circumstances, you know, where they are, who their relationships are, that very kind of basic acting stuff is really important for me. Um, and to help me get into any character, I have to take my shoes off to record. That's kind of my thing. Um, um, but that's, 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 that's pretty much me. It's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. I just get a sense of what they look like and who they are in the story and how I can kind of fill that, fill that void with my voice. So. We don't always have a lot of time, especially these days, yeah. to spend a lot of time like doing a lot of characterization and stuff. So I always tell like aspiring voice actors that the best thing you can do is take improv classes. Because mm -hmm. a lot of what we do is literally like, hey, 
get in there. You're girl yeah. A and you're angry because you didn't do your homework. Go. And it's exactly. like, you just have to wing it. Um, same thing with characters. Like, I, I, I don't know about you, Lynn, but I do vocal warm-ups and stuff yes, to get yeah. voice ready. <sighs> but then when you get there, um, sometimes I'll have like a line or a sound that I do. Like for Mae Wren, for example, Ian used to laugh and giggle at me all the time because I would have to go, <sighs> before every line. <laughs> <laughs> In order to get his voice out. Kind of be a really open actor like you have to be able to just like 100% believe your circumstances once you're there I went through a phase where I uh, tried to do like a uh, Michael Chekhov technique while uh, with my characters and I would like create I would create their centers so that way like I would remember what their center is every time I did that with CL and Juliet um, and Tamama <laughs> the center was right here <laughs> um, but yeah and that was that was helpful at the time and I, I feel like it made me stronger at being able to get into it quickly to the point where I didn't feel like I needed it at the end. Yeah. And, and like the classic voice voice actor or, or any actor warm up is the huh, 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 huh. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that, like that, it that's for me. Yeah. I have to do lip trills because usually my characters talk so quickly oh, yeah. that you will see me driving down the freeway like <laughs> <laughs> Super high pitched. If I were doing that same level of whatever, like duh, like lower. If I was like, you know, trying to do it in a lower pitch, it would hurt, and I wouldn't even do that character. But uh, yeah, with Chopper, it does not hurt nearly as much. I prefer. I would prefer to scream in Chopper all day than scream as my regular voice all day. Um, <laughs> but it's even still, I, I don't. I try not to do more than two hours at a time whenever I uh, record him. harder for up and coming voice actors though because it, it, like Monica said it's like even if it, you're just a bit part in one episode it's possible that you might be huge so they're afraid uh, to use someone that's completely green and completely new at the same time though I was talking to um, somebody who does like a lot of Walla animation Walla is like the um, it, it's like the, around, like the additional yeah, characters. Like the, the, yeah, like anytime they're in a crowd scene and you hear like kind of that murmuring or whatever, that's Walla. And they said it's awesome for them because usually it's like they'll come in for two hours and do the Walla for the whole series. But now it's like, well, you gotta come in for an hour for every episode, like because we don't know what's happening. So it, it's good and it's bad for up and comers. <laughs> Genuine fun doing. 
I really liked working with you ladies in School Rumble. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was yeah. way back. That was way back. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little offended that you didn't say that was one of your favorite characters. You started it. You said it first. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. Uh, it's hard because we don't get to work together. together. So if we've directed each other in something, yeah. that's the only time we've actually worked. Because that, that's why I was like, the show I directed. I and I worked with you ladies on Nabari Noel. Yeah. 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 I love awesome. Nabari Noel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's a lot of fun, I'll say, to, to go into the booth and record something after people that you know or your friends yeah. go, have already recorded. And you go in, you get to hear their voice. You're getting to really act off of that. So I, I, I love that in any case. I just yeah. did an episode of Death Parade, which is really brutal and hardcore and a great show. But uh, I was very lucky that Ian Sinclair had gone in before me and had to do all of his really dramatic, heart-wrenching stuff. So when I went in, I was like, this is easy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> did all work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to do anything but just act. Yes, exactly. Um, um, uh, right here, green shirt. I'm going to go green. Woo! Woo! Okay, first off, I just want to say, Listen to you guys do your work. I really, it really inspires me because I want to do the same kind of stuff. It's awesome. really fun to just make up voices and stuff. But here's my question, and you're going to love this. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever come to you about a show that you've done and forgot you did it? Oh, all the time. All the time. <laughs> we forgot that you've done it? Yes. Yes, yes absolutely. All the time. And it's not because we don't care, it's just that because, I mean, I've been doing this for 15 years, and so if I look at my list, there are some that are really prevalent and right on the, on the top of my mind, and some that I did 15 years ago that maybe aren't as, as uh, readily available to me. So, so, yes, and I'm sorry. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I am weird. I cannot tell you what I had for breakfast yesterday, but I can tell you what shows I've been in. Wow. And for the majority of them, who I've played. It's like this weird Rain Man ability that That's I have amazing. never nothing else. That's amazing. But so, and maybe it's because I've been to so many conventions that yeah. you talk about yeah, it. That's, That's true. true. That's true. Yeah. Now, there are some shows where I will say, yes, I was in that, but I cannot remember their name. It's probably because it's one of the many. Yeah. Yes. That's more what happens to me. I just can't remember my character's name most of the time. Typically, like, I'll recognize the show. Yes. Unless, sometimes it'll have, when you, when I get stuff to sign that's like a poster that doesn't have my character or any characters I interacted with and doesn't have the show name, I, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> like, there's no frame of reference for me whatsoever. Um, so, uh, th there have been, especially with games, sometimes I don't know that I was in it because I was given... Uh, uh, like a fake name of whatever I was working on, and then they never tell me what it was, like after it comes out, and so people will come and be like, oh, uh, Monster Tales is one like that, like someone came up and was like trying to get me to sign Monster Tales, and I was like, I'm not in that, I don't know what that is, I've never heard of that, because I hadn't. And they were like, really, your Wikipedia says, and I'm like, well, my Wikipedia also says I'm in Warcraft, and I'm definitely not. Um, and which, uh, but I mean, I'll take the credit. But, uh, yeah, so with games, I feel like it happens a lot, where it's just like, uh, maybe I was in that, I have no idea. Yeah, because when they contact you, they'll call it like, and usually it's something really innocuous and weird, like Tex Nix. Yeah, some and you're weird like, code name. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't know what games you're in until somebody lets you know, and then you're like, oh yeah, that's that mm -hmm. thing we did, that's called Tex Nix. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff. Uh, well, I guess for me, as I've always been kind of curious, but now, now that I have all of the years, like, have you ever, like, I know you guys said you don't get to work on a lot of shows together, but like, can you, like, do you think that there's like a show that you would like to see all of you work together on? Like that either is that you've seen Japanese for and would like to get or Unfortunately I'm so busy adapting uh, broadcast dubs right now, I don't have any idea what else is out there. My life right now is Nona and Tokyo Ghoul. <laughs> and then whatever I'm recording. So I'm sure there are other great shows out there, but that is my universe right now. Yeah. What about you guys? I, yeah, I don't, I, don't so know, I, I don't know anything about what's coming out or what has come out that has not been dubbed yet. I have, I have zero knowledge of and that. And they keep that stuff pretty under wraps, too, because they want it to be a surprise to some degree. And, and there are times where we can't even talk about the things that we're in until way far down the line. So I, I don't know. I can't, I 
can't think of yeah, off the top of my head. There's stuff that we've recorded that has still not been announced or released that's <laughs> just kind of waiting. I don't know yeah. why, but it's been crazy anime 